what up what up what up it's your boy jb coming back at you live and direct welcome back to the channel for all you that are new make sure you mash that like button hit that subscribe button turn on that bell for notification it really helps us out with the youtube algorithm i had to come at y'all because doc rivers is done doc rivers is done the milwaukee bucks should go ahead fire doc rivers go ahead get rid of dame Lillard. Go ahead, get rid of uh, Chris Middleton. At the end of the day, you got Giannis. And you got to get, you got to blow that whole system up, starting with Doc Rivers, because let's be honest, guys, Doc Rivers was consulting these owners. Doc Rivers made him fire the old coach in the middle of the season. Doc Rivers has put you in a position where you lost in the first round. I get injuries happen and that kind of thing, and, 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 and full props to Indiana Pacers, man. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, with Dame alone, Chris Chris Middleton, this should have been a more competitive series. Doc Rivers proved all of his skeptics true. Doc Rivers should not be able to coach another team in the NBA. Now, I'm not saying he can't be in the front office because if Milwaukee was doing decent, they were number one in the, uh, in the standings when they fired the old coach. So Doc Rivers might need to start focusing on being a front office guy because clearly teams have figured him out. Clearly he doesn't make adjustments. Doc Rivers need to recognize that it's time to move on to either going back to being an analyst on ESPN or ABC or go to the front office where you're not having to make adjustments like you have to make as a coach. Guys, this was sad to watch. This was sad to watch. And, and, and the Pat Dev situation just showed that the team was out of control team had no direction when Bobby Portis got uh, kicked out the game beforehand right you already knew this team had no discipline Doc Rivers had no influence with the team but that's been the case since Doc won with the Celtics in 2008 2008 was a long time ago right John Maxwell says it yesterday's home run don't win today's game Doc Rivers it's been a long time since 2008 Kevin Garnett Paul Pearson and Ray Allen ain't walking through that door to bail you out and you've had talent you've had talent but at the end of the day your coaching prowess is being exposed jj reddick said it there's a lot of people um who, who say you don't deserve to be coaching and when you get another man fired because the owner is listening to you and then you come and lay an egg in the first round man your days are done i don't know any other team that would want to hire you but more importantly Who's going to want to come play with Giannis to lose in the first round? You got to get rid of Doc Rivers. Now, I don't know who you go get, but I will tell you this. If you don't get Doc Rivers, who's going to want to come and play? If I'm if I'm Chris Middleton, I'm demanding a trade. Giannis is the only one they got locked in. Mean, and, 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 well, and Giannis' brother, because wherever Giannis goes. So you got two players, Milwaukee. Those are the two people you have. You got to get rid of Doc Rivers, and you got to start all over again. Bring in some veterans that will want to play with Giannis so that Giannis doesn't have to carry so much of the load during the regular season so he can be available during the playoffs. Man, y'all get down in the comment section and let me know what you think. Doc Rivers done? Is Doc Rivers toast? Is Doc Rivers irrelevant? Or, man, you know, is Jeff on to something? Does Doc need to go? Man, look again. Mash that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell for notifications. And until next time, we go hobby.